Astronomy is a fascinating hobby. And if you're like me, then you're constantly trying to improve it, to get better at it by finding ways to gather information so you can plan observing sessions better or, for example, simulating eyepieces and telescopes in order to get a better idea on what equipment piece to purchase next. Thankfully, there are a number of great tools out there that help us achieve exactly this. And in today's video, we are going to take a deeper look at four of my favorite tools for astronomy. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to BD Observatory. The first tool on the list is called Light Pollution Map and it's a completely free website that lets you check out the amount of light pollution at any location on the planet. It's basically a world map created in cooperation with TomTom that has a visually pleasing heat map overlay on top. It lets you zoom in and out, search for a specific place, and most importantly, it gives you a lot of useful details at the click of a mouse button, such as overall brightness, artificial brightness, and bottle class for that particular location. It's a very useful tool, which in my case, I use to plan my observing sessions ahead of time. Like for example, when I'm researching travel destinations for my holidays. This way, I know if and where I can observe the night sky when I'm not at home. So basically working out if it's worth taking my telescope with me in the first place. So for looking up the light pollution at different places and for planning, check out lightpollutionmap.info. Next tool on the list is of course Stellarium. It's currently available as a free software for PC and Mac, a free web application and as a paid app for mobile users. Stellarium is my main app that I personally use for long and short time planning. It's also great for learning about the night sky as it offers a vast database of objects that you can simply search for, learn about and then simulate the views at any given time and place on the planet. Even though the mobile app costs 17 euros, for the ad-free full fat version, it's definitely worth it as it's very helpful during observing sessions. The mobile app is available for both iOS and Android phones, and it lets you easily identify the objects you're looking at, especially if you have a smartphone mount for the telescope. Aligning the smartphone with the telescope and the finder scope will let you navigate the night sky much easily. Another feature that's really useful is its eyepiece and telescope simulator. Here you can basically set up your telescope eyepiece combination and then see how the view of the different objects look like when using these items. I use this feature to better understand what effects different equipment pieces have on the views of certain objects I'm interested in. This is very useful information when planning on getting new stuff. So, if you're looking for a powerful tool to help you learn more about astronomy and how to better navigate the night sky, then definitely give Stellarium a try. All right, number three on the list is an app called Nightshift. It's available only for Android and it's completely free. Although, if you want to remove the ads, you will need to get one of the reasonably priced subscription plans. The app is a very useful tool, which I primarily use for short-term planning, as it features a fantastic weather combined with seeing conditions forecast engine that gives me information on what objects are visible at which time and under which conditions. All this based on my exact GPS coordinates. Nightshift then uses this information to create a nice and easy to understand rating system. It even lets you save up your telescope type and take its light gathering capacity into consideration as well. I use this app to plan ahead for the night or even a couple of nights in advance and I found it to be reliable and very useful in this regard. The fourth and last item on today's list is the website Astronomy Tools, which as the name suggests, 
features a whole list of free tools that can be very helpful to hobby astronomers like us. Starting with different types of calculators to star charts and a nice cloud forecast service. For me, the field of view calculator has been my favorite ever since I came across this website. It lets you select the objects you are interested in observing and then it gives you the possibility to enter details about your equipment, such as telescope and IP specifications. It then shows you the image of the selected night sky object and draws a circle around it, representing the borders of your actual field of view produced by the selected telescope eyepiece combination. What's nice about it is the fact that you can add as many combinations as you want and compare the field of view produced by them, thus allowing you to see how the actual field of view varies from eyepiece to eyepiece or telescope to telescope. I always use this tool when debating about getting a new eyepiece or telescope. I try out different combinations and compare them to my existing setup. And based on the information I get from this tool, I go ahead and get the item that best fills the existing gap. So if you are thinking of getting a new item and don't know how exactly it will affect your views of the night sky, then I strongly encourage you to try out this website. All right. So this was a short list of tools I found to be very useful and I just wanted to share them with you guys as well. But maybe you already are familiar with these, in which case I'm very interested in your opinions. Also, if you know and use other helpful tools, please do share them with us in the comments below. I'm sure this would be much appreciated. So this was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have questions or feedback, then please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next video.